I made a deal that I would try to <laughs> promote more femininity as well as homemaker content. Oh, I think that is what is the secret. I personally don't even own a scale. So good. Welcome to the vlog, lovely feminine women. I am so excited and ecstatic that you are here tuning in for another fall themed vlog. It's no surprise that I walk my dogs an average of once a day, usually in the mornings, and I'm showing you a little bit of the park today because we are in the last stretch of fall where the leaves are still so beautiful on the trees, but they are about to fall all off on the ground and we are going to get into that somber part of fall soon. I get asked a lot about my lip color and what I've been wearing lately has been more of a pink tone. I'm trying to sustain this until November, deeper into November, because then I will transition more to a darker pink. I have linked everything down below. I'm showing you an Amazon facial scrubber because it has changed my life lately since I've been struggling with some skin issues and my favorite perfume ever, Mademoiselle Coco Chanel. If you watched my video about how I refined my feminine style, I talked about how I like to wear a little bit of a heel every single day. And this is just a great example of the type of shoe that I go for. I'm showing you my casual outfit as well as the only mask that works for me because I have acne and breathing problems, so that's real life. <laughs> Before we get too much into the vlog, there are two amazing women that I want to recommend that you go check out their channels. If you have been following my channel for a while, you know that I made a deal that I would try to <laughs> promote more femininity as well as homemaker content so that we can really grow the femininity revolution. First up, we have Ebony. And if you like my vlogs and my housewife content, housewife day in the life, and if you're also a childless homemaker, she has an amazing, excellent channel. She also does content on femininity. I'm going to link some pictures of her channel here and down below. So go check her out. And also the housewife life. She has the most adorable toddler. Um, and she also does housewife vlogs. She has a few sit down commentary videos about being a homemaker. Um, she has some parenting advice as well. She is so sweet. You might have seen her in the comment section of my videos, but also pictures here and go check her out. We have somebody coming over this weekend and I wanted to show you the wines that I always go for that I know are hit with everybody and they're my favorite wines just to grab at the store. First up, we have Jaylor, an American wine from California. It tastes great with steak. Um, it is kind of like an in-between quality wine, I would say. So it's not like the lower tier, but it's not the higher tier. It's just a great staple. This is the wine I always drink. And I haven't actually drank wine in months because as some of you are aware, we are kind of, um, like on a trying to conceive journey sort of so i have wine sparingly once in a while when i go out to eat but this is the wine that i always go for the bonterra organic wine it's also from california it just tastes so good there's a um a white wine version of this i don't really like white wine but um, I love this wine. It is a go-to wine. I always grab this wine if I'm going to hang out with girlfriends as well to bring to somebody's house. It is a classic favorite that everybody likes. Last up, I just got a Santa Margarito, Margarita, <laughs> Pinot Grigio, because Pinot Grigio has sweet undertones and um, it tends to be a crowd favorite. It's also good um, to serve with cheese as well as um, with dessert. For some reason, this is my favorite part of unpacking the groceries, putting the eggs in the egg container. <laughs> 
Also, every time that I grocery shop, or at least I try to do this every time I grocery shop, but I clean out my fridge. I actually learned this from another YouTuber, Faith and Home, who she has talked about how this is a good habit that she does and it inspired me to do it as well. So that's what I try to do. And I am on a healthier eating kick now. <laughs> so I am making a salad for lunch, just a random mishmash of a bunch of things in my fridge. I'm working on caulking and painting the trim around my house and I've been listening to two things. One podcast called Letters to Women. It's a Catholic women's podcast. And the other thing that I've been listening to is a book on Audible called Slow and it discusses elements of slow living. But what I particularly enjoy about this book is that it brings to our attention that there's a misconception about what slow living means basically because there's an aesthetic of like pre girl kind of slow living. If you search slow living on Instagram, you'll know what I'm talking about. And those things are beautiful and wonderful, but for the everyday woman, especially um, for me who has a busier lifestyle, I didn't quite identify with that type of slow living. And this book breaks it down on how it can be applicable to everybody. I cannot fully endorse everything said in this book, but in general, it was pretty good. few of you have been telling me that my skin is looking great and that's why it makes me laugh because my skin is just so bad lately and it's all because of this product that I actually forgot to put on so let's put it on together it is by benefit dandelion twinkle it is just a highlighter so I go ahead and take this brush and I dab it and swirl it a little bit and I just lightly tap it on the tops of my cheeks and right here. Not so much because I get oily there, but it gives that nice finish that I think a lot of you have been complimenting me on. I think that is what is the secret to kind of making my skin look great, although it's not really great right now. There is a tornado warning outside. I'm gonna show you the sky because it's something. On the camera try to get a good a good angle without being like tornado watchers <laughs> oh, it's a little bit dangerous a little bit dangerous let's go inside <laughs> so much rain so much rain she loves to watch it so as you can see what i was saying we have a lot of paint because i've been working on this we have some of the supplies here all the tape <laughs> that I've been putting around so that I can do this properly. And one other thing I'm going to show you in here. We finally added a mirror. If you noticed, the only mirror that we had, <laughs> which is the mirror that I was using to take all my pictures, is actually in the master bathroom. So we needed to add mirrors <laughs> to the rest of the house to finish the project because it's kind of weird if you go into a house and there aren't any mirrors. Although, if mirrors do make you feel bad, I support you in not having a lot of mirrors. I personally don't even own a scale. Yes, that's right, I don't own a scale. <laughs> That would probably surprise many of you, but I found that obsessing over my measurement on the scale was actually not healthy for me to 
lose weight. So what I do instead is I just go by clothing as well as the way that I feel. Lately, over the past few weeks, I know that I have been drinking a little bit too much um, pumpkin spice and caramel macchiatos, and I have been noticing it in my thighs because my thighs and my behind is where I gain my most weight. So that has been a much milder approach and a much healthier approach for me to deal with my weight rather than watching the number tick more every single day because that would probably impede me from actually going out to coffee with people and treating myself once in a while. But once you feel it in your clothing, you, in my opinion, for my lifestyle, it, it has been a much healthier way to kind of give myself that reminder, okay, those past few weeks are a little bit fun, let's choose some better drink options right now <laughs> for coffee and uh, let's just walk one more lap at the park. <laughs> Problem solved. Welcome to the last day of the vlog. You can see I am using my fall Pyrex. Of course, have to mention it in every single vlog. The Pyrex featured today is another set from the 1970s. We are, of course, carrying on with my love for the 1970s. You can even see it in the outfits that I've been recently sharing on my Instagram. So if you haven't followed along, make sure to go there. I have it linked. All my social media handles are actually linked in the description box. The outfits from day two and day three were 70s inspired. This outfit that I'm wearing right now is 70s inspired for the fact that it has different size floral patterns. That's something that is a hallmark of the 1970s. So anyway, moving on, what we are making today are pumpkin cinnamon rolls. I know in the United States, your Thanksgiving is coming up and you're all getting ready for the holiday season and I think this would be an excellent treat to make for that occasion. Of course, I'm going to link the recipe in the description box and I highly recommend that you actually make the icing that goes along with it, the cream cheese frosting because oh my goodness, lowly feminine women, cream cheese frosting is just out of this world. If you watch my spring vlog from a couple of months ago, you know we made carrot cake with cream cheese frosting and I could just eat cream cheese frosting all day. It is so delicious. There's another thing that I wanted to talk to you about because I had mentioned I want to save certain things to share with you on the vlogs rather than advertise them everywhere on Instagram so that it can kind of be a between you and I thing and that is an app that I've been using for cleaning lately it is called toady or toddy I don't know how you pronounce it but it's t-o-d-y it is a customizable cleaning app that lets you put different tasks in the set amount of time that you want to clean it at so the intervals of time that you want to clean those particular things in each room of your house and it gives you a to-do list based on your day as well as your week. It's an awesome app. It's only $10 Canadian so I bet that's about $7 US right now. The exchange rate changes all the time. <laughs> but if you're looking for a good cleaning app, I recommend that one, especially if you are like me where your schedule changes frequently. If you have a husband who's very busy and you help him out a lot, this, or you have kids, um, I know many of you are busy. Sometimes it's hard to stick to routines um, where you do a set thing every Monday, Tuesday, for example. So this app allows you to have that flexibility.
So I've tried to keep the vlog a little bit fall theme. We had the pumpkin dessert and also I'm using orange writing if you hadn't noticed. I'll try to make my vlogs a little bit more themed uh, based on the season as we progress through the growth of this channel. I also wanted to say thank you so much for 15k because we recently hit 15k and it means so much to me to have this small community of truly the best feminine women on the internet. I believe because you are all so kind and I feel the genuine love and support through your comments. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you've been up to this fall or anything you have to add to the conversation. I appreciate it so much. As you can tell right now, I am doing some laundry because uh, what is life of a homemaker if uh, we don't do laundry every single day? I do laundry almost every single day. I don't know about you. <laughs> but the vlog is coming to a close and if you hadn't already liked the video please do so it helps reach other women and grow the femininity revolution which i always um continuously repeat and hound on you about <laughs> but it isn't just about me i truly believe in the future of our sisters of our friends of our daughters and their place as feminine traditional women in this world Bye bye so good.